wirelessly um, transferring files from my Shield tablet using ES File Explorer to my 3DS. So we are going to go network. FTP and on here FTP FT Brony we'll launch that oh boy yay it's ready we're here tap that see some fun stuff came up on the screen on my SD card. Themes. ROMs. Whatever. Right. So I'm going to delete the connection here. between the 3DS and the Shield tablet. We have this info up here we have to enter. Anyways. Hit FTP. The server is one nine two Okay, that's the, uh, oh, what's the face? The IP address. Dot one. Dot one two. The port is 5000. And now we hit anonymous under the username and password. Sharpen. Sharpen, mister. That blurry shit right here says anonymous. Not to be confused with anonymous, the hacker group thingy, or the, the whatever that is concept thing. Whatever, who cares? It's late, I'm tired. Then hit OK. And it found the 3DS, and you'll see text pop up on the 3DS. Now, I'm going to tap on it, and all the folders on your SD card show up. And you can copy and paste ROMs and things and themes. So you can download it on your tablet, copy it, uh, paste it to the, the SD card on the 3DS. And once you do that, um, you, then you don't have to you pull out the screwdriver and take the back off to pull the SD card out. And, you know. and there's that. You could also delete stuff from the you know, 3DS and stuff. So all you need is, uh, let's go in here. Oh, these are all the... These are all my uh, cores for for uh, retro art, but I don't remember if this is where you put it. Oh, there it is. FT Brony, uh, Brony, uh, and then yeah. <laughs> I'm Beavis. I'm butthead. I don't know what I'm doing. Anyways, so that is how you would transfer files back and forth between Android and uh, your 3DS if you were looking to do it without a PC. Thank you for watching.